Friends, today's NRI Samai program from Los Angeles brought to you commercial free by listeners like you. Your generous donations make possible for us to stay commercial free. This is a live show and our guest will be happy to answer any of your questions. If you have a question for the guest, please leave a message on the chat window on nrisamai.com forward slash live. Thank you for your support. Greetings and welcome to NRI Samai. Our today's guest is Karate Champion Mr. Vivek Teja who has participated in 9 to- international tournaments till date and have won 19 gold, 17, 17 silver and 10 bronze medals in different championship tournaments. He is aspiring to represent India in 2016 Olympics and is looking for sponsors. Hello Vivek, welcome to NRSMI. How are you doing today? Hello everyone, this is Vivek, I'm a martial artist. Um, good to speak with you today. How did you develop this interest in karate? Is there anybody in your family who is into sports? No, nobody was there in my family. Actually, when I'm 8 years old, I used to go for ground, open ground, near by my home. And uh, there are some people practicing karate, and by seeing that, I'm... Uh, I got interest to learn karate, so I have started my career uh, when I'm eight years old. Uh, how how are your parents supporting you? Starting, I did not say to them that I am learning karate in ground. With them, after uh, one month completion of my one month summer camp, I I said them that I am learning karate, and they have seen some they have seen my steps in kata. They said uh, you are doing well and it's better to continue in future also. That's, that's a good support you have got from them. Uh, you, are, you said you are interested, you want to represent India in uh, Olympics uh, in 2016. So how are your, how yeah. is your practice going on for that? At present, my practice is not so good because uh, I want to try at uh, other institutions at uh, uh, abroad because we have very good coaches in India, but uh, we don't have uh, good e- equipment uh, to practice. Mm-hmm. There's a major problem here, and uh, because of financial support, uh, there is no financial support for me, and due to that, I'm facing a lot of problems. It's like what kind of ex- equipment is required for uh, to learn karate uh, and to excel in karate? Uh, especially, we should have very good coaches, kickbacks, and also well equipment, fully highly qualified, uh, qualified dojo. Dojo means, uh, that means school. I have trained in Muay Thai at Thailand. It's a, it's a birthplace of uh, Muay Thai. Muay Thai is a martial art of Thailand. And uh, I took four months training in Thailand. And it's a very big dojo. It's a very big dojo. So who was yeah. your uh, first guru uh, in karate? My first guru is uh, Suresh Kumar. He's from Tamil Nadu. Mm-hmm. Um, now, now next, uh, my second coach is uh, Mr. Jedred and Sifu Robert Meganas. Sifu Robert Meganas, he he's the founder of Full Contact Karate, the World Committee organization, and mm-hmm. he's a very great master. And my third master is uh, Jedred. He's uh, one of the star of Full Contact Karate, and he's world's strongest fighter from Australia. Mm-hmm. So, how did you get yeah. a chance to go to Malaysia and learn uh, martial arts for four months over there? Uh, my mother used to support me a lot. She's a major part in my life, and uh, she used to she kept her goal in bank uh, for mortgage to send me for tournaments. Apart from the financial. Uh, uh, support or apart from that, it's like, uh, did you won any tournaments in India that that paved a path for your Malaysia trip? I got an invitation because of winning uh, international tournament in India at uh, Vizag, Vizag Swarnabharati Stadium. Yeah, it's the first two international karate championship. Mm-hmm. And after that tournament, I got so many invitations uh, from abroad to participate. What is is there any ranking system for karate in India, and how is the uh, Indian government uh, 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 role in the karate championships or uh, its support, its a lending hand in karate? Actually, there is no recognition in India, and there is no support from government. 
mm-hmm. and also any other companies because uh, uh, all people are very addicted to cricket mm-hmm. and uh, some most of my friends uh, those who are uh, those they are from other countries and their government support uh, support them a lot but uh, our indian government is not taking care about the martial arts people Okay. and uh, because of that we are facing a lot of problems okay okay yeah. so y- there is no ranking system or anything in india for karate or martial arts no there is no rank okay. no there is no ranking system in karate and i also and uh, i want to change my game into boxing and also taekwondo because boxing and taekwondo are in uh, olympic recognized games Mm-hmm. so uh, next i want to train up in boxing and taekwondo and i want to mm-hmm. participate for 2016 meet olympics and karate is also in the way to olympics 2020 okay so you want to uh, like participate in boxing and taekwondo uh, uh, in future uh, not just uh, karate right yeah Until now, I took training in four martial arts: is uh, karate, kickboxing, kalari paya two, and Muay Thai. Mm-hmm. And I took uh, Muay Thai training in uh, Thailand. And I took kalari paya two. Kalari paya two is an Indian martial art. And uh, that martial art is used in the battlefield. I see. I took training so, for two months at Kerala. Okay. So how did you? Uh, Uh, like find gurus or masters in uh, uh, these many different uh, uh, martial arts like it must have been tougher to find gurus also right just to see in the internet I and i will choose the best institutions all over the world mm-hmm. uh, and i go to the uh, dojo to take training so you you just like contact them through internet and then you approach them uh, you you yeah. you just like browse for them but uh, you don't have any uh, contact to pers- people or uh, you didn't get contact through people or uh, personal contacts like that right yeah yeah how many tournaments have you participated till date and how many of them you have won Yeah, till now I have participated in more than seventy tournaments, including ten internationals. Okay. And I won nineteen gold, seventeen silver, ten bronze, and so many merit certificates. And I also invited as a referee in international tournaments. Oh, that's that's awesome. Sounds pretty good. So you, it yeah. means you have uh, you are doing so well in your uh, sports. That congratulations yeah. for that. Thank you. Okay, so how are you? Uh, like, how are you? Uh, you you got the uh, international level recognition, uh, though not like a sp- uh, cricketer or any other sports person. But uh, uh, in your own domain, you have got an international recognition from where you are. And how are you taking it to you? I feel very happy because uh, I have started my career when I'm eight years old. and now i'm 20 and i'm very happy for my all my achievements and uh, because due to the lack of uh, uh, government support we cannot do anything it's mm-hmm. uh, very burden on me mm-hmm. i have lost so many tournaments uh, due to lack of sponsorships i see so uh, tell me uh, more about your uh, training and how 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 the how your routine day will be every every morning i go for uh running and i go for swimming and in the evening i go gym uh and uh, every day i used to train very hard and uh i i used to train very hard and uh, i used to take so many kicks to kicks and punches uh in the training because i want to make my body uh to addicted to that pain because uh, whenever i go for tournaments it's uh, easy for me to bear that pain uh, how will be your diet uh, um, fitness uh, plan for uh, for your uh, training every morning i have a glass of milk and protein shake and uh, afternoon a little rice eggs without yolk and chicken 
and in the night time three chapatis and uh, with green leaf curry and a glass of milk and i used to keep uh, myself fit by skipping and i go gym swimming can you share your experiences from your first martial art uh, tournament like the very first tournament you have participated in what was your experience uh, uh, in that my first international tournament was at uh, nepal in 2011 Okay. It's a very big international tournament, uh, and I won three medals: two gold and one bronze medal in different events. That like um, kumite. Kumite means uh, fighting, and kata. Kata means is a demonstration, like demonstration, and also weapon, nunchuck. And that's okay. my first memorable win for me. I cannot forget in my life because uh, it's a very big achievement. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it it must be a really memorable one. Okay, so who who will travel with you? Who will give you company uh, where, in all these uh, tournaments to you? Actually, it's a very much burden for me to travel alone because uh, there is no any kind of support. I used to travel alone wherever I go. Yeah, it's uh, very hard to get sponsorship for me and. Uh, is uh very very hard uh, to get uh, sponsorship to my other people also like coaches parents mhm did you approach any uh, sponsors or did you approach uh, government uh, for your uh, sponsorships because you have such a uh, good uh, uh, track history uh, did you approach any of them and what was their reaction uh, about the sponsorship First, uh, I have approached so many politicians and uh, so many other companies, okay. and uh, there is no good response from them. Okay, I see. Uh, and so many people used to say me that uh, why you have chosen karate instead of cricket or any other game. And I tell them karate, cricket is uh, there is craze for cricket in India. Mm-hmm. and uh karate is a very famous sport in all, all of the world and there is no recognition in india mm-hmm. uh, and um, definitely one day i will bring craze to karate and i will do that one day that's right uh, all the best for your uh, uh, sporty spirit and uh, motivation well uh, the the craze in india about cricket is uh, very well known and uh, uh, but it it is it is uh, it is funny to uh, find that uh, people saying uh, uh, people asking us about uh, uh, why didn't we take uh, other sports is really it's funny it's up to you it's, it's a, this is your passion that you have uh, Uh, figured out uh, in the very early stages of your life so uh, keep going well uh, my next question is uh, what are your other hobbies other than karate karate and martial arts studying listening to music uh, bowling uh, okay. pool okay that's it okay so what are you what is your uh, academic uh, qualification like i know you you are, you have a really tight schedule uh, practicing uh, this martial arts and uh, participating in different tournaments but still like uh, uh, in uh, education is so very important so ha- uh, what is your academic education your academic background i have complete my btech final year this year okay uh, ec electronics communication Okay. And I never felt burden uh, in pursuing B Tech because uh, after my practice, the rest of time I concentrate more on my studies, okay. and uh, I manage both without any difficulties. So tell us about your more about your family. Father, he is a medical representative, and my mother, she is a government teacher, and my sister, she is doing uh, degree second year. it must have been really tough uh, uh it's like uh, it's really tough for any person uh, to participate in international tournaments as you said and uh, i agree with you and uh, it's like uh, you said like you have already approached few sponsors across uh, across the in the national level and you you were you didn't get a, a 
a good response from them. So, what are you plan? How are you planning it for future? Like you have a such a, a, a good long term goal, uh, Olympics, and you have a good aspirations. So, how are you planning? How 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 you how do you think you can make it? Uh, I'm I'm trying my level best uh, uh, for getting sponsorships because uh, uh, it's my uh, education is important. Also, karate is also important for me. So I'm my I want to I don't want to stop with my B Tech and I will also do my M Tech and next uh, I want to take training in uh, South Korea for Taekwondo to learn Taekwondo. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to meet uh, uh, our chief minister of Andhra Pradesh to seek some help from him. I met him one year back uh, after winning my Thailand international tournament, and he said me that uh, he will sponsor me for next time, but uh, he did not show that much interest on me. Well, okay. I hope he will help me in future. I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah, we hope so. Mm -hmm. I wish he, yeah. he helps you too. Okay. So, um, how how are you uh, how are you feeling about the uh, this kind of ignorance from uh, government and uh, uh, government for, uh, it's in, uh, giving priority to other sports and ignoring uh, 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 such a good sport like uh, martial arts. Because the government is concentrating more on cricket, uh, and uh, most of the uh, sponsors are sponsoring for the cricket because most of the people are watching cricket, and there is a very good craze for cricket, and there is no craze for martial arts. And uh, in future, definitely, uh, I hope I will bring good craze for martial arts, and it will also become a recognized sports in India. Who is your uh, major uh, uh, backbone for uh, for your today stand in this karate my mom is my mom she's a major part of my success uh, without her i could not be in this position she boosts me a lot and uh, one sad and happy thing is uh, for attending my tournaments my mother kept her gold in martigage in bank to send me for international tournaments and she is a very best friend of mine and also a guide and philosopher Right, like uh, you have one uh, good number, you have one good number of uh, tournaments, right? So, uh, is the uh, you get uh, some prize money from them, and is that prize money is uh, uh, helping you in any way, or uh, like uh, repaying your debts, or uh, to to increase uh, to participate uh, in future tournaments or anything like that? What I mean is, when you win a tournament. You get uh, prize money. Uh, some, um, do they give a prize money for when you win a tournament? Along no, no, no. It, not in all tournaments. It, it's only in some tournaments. Okay. Are you able to uh, cover at least a part of uh, your debts, or uh, have 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 is like is it uh, is that money anyway useful to your uh, future plans? I do. Uh, actually, I used to get very small amount. They don't pay very much. Okay. It's a very small amount, and uh, we cannot do anything with that. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> okay, fine. So, how many countries do you, have you uh, visited till date of uh, for these tournaments? Uh, no, I have visited more than nine countries. Okay. So, like. And so my last match was in Malaysia this year. Mm -hmm. I won bronze medal in Malaysia in January this year. Okay, nice. So, which place did you like most among these? Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur, I see. Nice. And do you have very good memories uh, uh, with it, right? That's why you like it? Yeah. It's like martial art, art is like every minute changing, like every second it changes, like every second is uh, kind of adventurous, kind of uh, a struggle uh, while practicing and while participating also, right? Yeah, yeah. So which one uh, did you felt like uh, the hardest one till date? Uh, till now I did not uh, felt anything hard because uh, we used to train very hard. Mm -hmm. My coach always, uh, he say, 
uh, fight harder and uh, train hard and fight easier. So I always follow that, and I used to train very hard, and it's easy for me to win in the tournament. So you are into karate, kickboxing, and uh, taekwondo. Uh, like which one is the toughest sport you feel? Actually, I took training only in four martial arts: is karate, kickboxing, kalari payattu, and muay thai. And the toughest is uh, karate because karate is a full co- is a full contact martial art, okay. and uh, it's a very um, we can become very strong by practicing the uh, exercise of karate. Okay. And uh, the hardest yeah. blow is like uh, hardest hit or hardest blow uh, is like which one do you get? Like, in, is, uh, is it in the kickboxing or uh, the karate? Or? Uh, I I keep trying in kickboxing and uh, karate. I feel more difficulty in karate because uh, we used to have so many uh, type of exercises and so many type of kicks. Mm-hmm. And by practicing. Karate kicks, uh, we used to become very strong. Uh, okay. So, Kalari Payattu and kick, uh, sorry, Kalari Payattu and uh, Karate are oh, similar to each other. Is it? No, no, no. No, it's uh, completely different. Kalari Payattu is an Indian martial artist. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's founded by Agatya. Okay. And uh, serious practitioner was Bodhidharma. You have seen in the Seventh Sense movie, right? Well, uh, I have no idea. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. It's, uh, actually, Kaleri Payetu is a... Uh, uh, it's practiced mas- in uh, Kerala. That is what artist, I know. Uh, used it in... Yeah, yeah. It's uh, used it in the battlefield. Mm-hmm. That martial arts. It's uh, fully with yeah. weapons. Fencing. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, so it is with weapons. Yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. So there are Indian forms of karate also. Uh, I have no idea about the names, but uh, there are different Indian forms of uh, uh, karate. So yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So you are you. Where did you learn kalari payattu? You said you went to Kerala. So uh, who who, t- yeah, who, ta- yeah. who taught you? Who uh, who is he? Who taught you kalari yeah. payattu? Yeah, my. I learn in Calicut in Kerala, and my coach is uh, Kunhi Musa Gurukul. He is one of the uh, famous master in Kerala, and I took mm-hmm. training from him for two months. So um, I'm kind of repeating my question, but uh, this is from our listener. Uh, his question is: You probably take so many kicks during a fight. What kind of physical toll does it take on the body after a tournament? Uh, yeah, uh, we used to take, uh, and we also used to give so many kicks, and we used mm-hmm. to have so many bumps and bruises, and I used to try and very hard to keep myself fit and strong, mm-hmm. and uh, after my one of, after my tournament, uh, because of my pains, uh, I did not uh, even walk for uh, three days. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Uh, what measures do you take take to reduce your pain uh, after after such uh, tournaments? Nothing. It uh, it will decrease automatically. Uh, mm-hmm. because uh, I love to enjoy the pain. We are addicted to the pain, and uh, it's uh, our body will be habituated to that pain. And uh, when we uh, participate in tournaments, and if uh, just hit uh, hit by someone, and that pain is nothing. I see. Okay, so you don't take any measures, you don't take any painkillers to reduce the pain and uh, no, nothing. you just enjoy that pain so that it will give you strength for yeah. your future uh, uh, future uh, competitions. That sounds... Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, amazing. So uh, what is the most memorable win for you till date? The first memorable win is uh, uh, Nepal International Tournaments. I won three three medals, uh, two two gold medals and one bronze medal in three different events, and okay. that's my and memorable win for me. Interesting or the saddest uh, moment if you had. After I went alone to Malaysia without my coach and my parents, 
and after getting my after getting third place in fighting sparring mm-hmm. and there is no one with me to share mm-hmm. that makes me a little sad when i think so who is your inspiration for uh, in karate or in this martial arts actually there is no inspiration to learn karate and how in this more my uh, two years back uh, i have seen uh, my third coach jedri in a tournament and i have inspired uh, more uh, by seeing his uh, match his 100 uh, man kumite fighter he fought with a uh, 100 men in japan so he is uh, he is a man who inspired me a lot okay what is his name jedreed he is australian okay so he is into yeah karate full contact karate and he is one of the star of full contact karate so since she are so much attached to your mother like even your um, Uh, your post share uh, uh, any uh, any kind of updates or uh, anything like you always talk about your mother so can we can we talk with her for a while can we ask her a few questions yeah, ask a few can. questions for her hello everyone hello uh, hello good evening ma'am uh, namaste welcome to nri samay namaste madam good evening your kid has achieved so much uh, like in this uh, such a young age so how are you feeling uh, feeling about that yeah man i feel very proud of my son vivek teja mhm being vivek's mother i feel really great his performance he always put his best efforts everywhere and every time mhm teja got success and uh, won the gold medals he bring name and fame to our india so uh, mm. how, when at what age uh, did you uh, recognize his, this talent in him and at the age of 8 years old 8 years only like when he has expressed his interest in karate ah uh, and when he was 8 years old okay well like uh, like at that age like people will go for cricket uh, cricket coaching or uh, football coaching or uh, 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 tennis or any any such such sport uh, or they just play around uh, and they just take it as a hobby they don't take it real seriously though they take it real seriously they may not achieve uh, uh, international recognition in the sport uh, so quickly so uh when like when uh, vivek has first told you that uh, he he is interested and he want to take part in karate uh you must have thought that he it is his it uh, it has his hobby only but uh, like when uh, when when is that moment like where that he is really uh, going to make it uh, as his career and uh, what is what is that uh, time like uh, Well, is it like is it really at eight years age or like after uh, one or two years training uh, when he has excelled in it and uh, when he is has won uh, one or two tournaments that you have recognized that he is really into karate from the childhood uh, he wants to become a uh, champion in uh, karate he oh. interested in karate very much Mm-hmm. uh first of all he learned one month course a summer camp uh mm-hmm. i saw that and i felt very happy and that's why i encouraged a lot mm-hmm. uh his performance is so better mm-hmm. that's why i uh, encourage him yes ma'am Uh, for being Vivek's just mother i'm very thankful to god my son is a great uh, gifted gifted child man mm mm-hmm. yeah that's so nice to hear well like uh, yeah. how do you think that we, uh, vivek got that got this interest in martial arts he said like nobody in his family is into sports 
So, like, how do you think he has got this interest? He just got it. Uh, he just got it like randomly, or uh, do you think uh, there is any reason, uh, uh, or uh, any inspiration, or any motive uh, uh, behind that? Uh, no inspiration is there, man. He own, uh, he learned by his own, uh, inculcated in his own mind, man. I From childhood also, he wants to become very different uh, field and all that. He wants to mm -hmm. choose different field. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh. That's nice to hear. So, uh, how do you have? Uh, like it's really tougher uh, for Vivek himself to take uh, that much uh, strain and uh, uh, that much pain uh, in his practice and uh, tournaments uh, when it's like uh, it's really a, it's a fierce uh, sport. So when he is like when he was kicked by someone else and uh, it's like generally mothers they feel very bad when uh, when their children will uh, will have like a small wound. Uh, of uh, when when they come uh, like uh, from playing or some anything like that. So uh, like in this kind of fear, art, it is a routine thing that uh, he will be hit by others or he will have injuries or anything like that. So uh, at the, in those moments, how do you how how is it? How do you feel? Yeah, yes, you are right, man. I feel very sad. Sometimes mm -hmm. I get into tears also. Mm -hmm. But Vicky of my son is nothing in front of that man. <laughs> okay. 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 And how are you managing, it's like uh, uh, preparing a, a kid to something, some tournament or something. Something is, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's really, it's like a, uh, it's a huge thing. So uh, how are you, how are you maintaining, how are you, uh, your schedule, your uh, uh, times and all uh, for him like how are you dedicating it uh, is it, uh, it it's uh, is, is it really tough or uh, you are, you must be enjoying it uh, like i can sense that but uh, how is it like for you preparing him for the tournament i spend so much time to my children man mm -hmm. uh, for uh, for their career future and their education mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I am um, being a teacher, being a mother. Uh, you are from Andhra Pradesh and uh, it's like uh, there are so many engineers from Andhra Pradesh. Uh, especially parents, yeah. they want their children uh, to, to study to uh, to go into a good institution, especially into engineering, and uh, go abroad earn uh, like a uh, good amount, a lump sum amount of uh, um, money, and uh, they they want their they dream about their children like that. Uh, they often dream about uh, their children like that. So uh, it's like uh, apart from that, like uh, there are very rare kind of parents who really uh, allow their children to participate in and take part in their own passion uh, and uh, uh, make it make it as a career so uh, is it like uh, did you did you uh, did you had any such kind of uh, struggling time to convince him that uh, uh, go ahead with the education not with the sport uh, it is really difficult for us uh, uh, to sponsor you and uh, did you ever told him like that or uh, did you Yes, ma'am. I say studies and sports are both, uh, both are primary. Engineering is a routine thing. <laughs> I want to become my son to be a, in different field as a mm -hmm. great person. People uh, would like to him uh, and recognize him. Oh, Vivek Teja is a, a good martial artist, a famous martial artist. Uh, like uh, like that. Uh, engineering is a common thing, but uh, I and uh, my son, uh, daughter also uh, choose very different uh, fields, man. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, we want to get uh, something 
special and new uh, wants to uh, become center of the attraction mm-hmm. like that yeah yeah that that's nice to know that's nice to know uh, your interest and uh, the similar interest in your child too uh, this is really yeah. nice talking with you do you have anything else to say uh, about the vivek teja thank you thank you for being Hello, on nrs ma'am well hi Hello. vivek welcome back once again and uh, it's really a uh, yeah. pleasure talking with your mom and uh, it's like uh, you have really a good uh, support in your family and uh, you have got such a great mother and uh, she has got such a great kid so uh, we are in the final part of our uh, today's interview so uh, do you have uh, uh, i know it's it's a pretty uh, earlier to ask you this question but do you have any suggestion for uh, those kids who are who want to pursue karate as career or who want to take karate training or any martial art training I want to suggest uh, for any kids, those who want to pursue karate as career, and uh, in this fast generation, there is a need uh, of uh, study as well as uh, extracurricular activities like karate and any other martial art. Mm-hmm. Because karate uh, education is uh, not only important, uh, which have to be in uh, in different field field also. Mm-hmm. So, but uh, so karate. it's uh, better to choose as a extra curricular activity mm-hmm. that's nice yeah. uh, um that's nice to hear and um, so finally uh, do you have uh, anything uh, to say to our listeners or uh, you can go ahead and uh, um say your uh, say whatever you want to say to our uh, or give any message to our listeners I would like to thank everyone those who are listening to me and uh at present I am I am planning to learn boxing and taekwondo mm-hmm. and the Olympic vision next game mm-hmm. and uh, I want to win gold medal in 2016 meet so I am searching for the sponsorships and because it's taking me a lot of amount to uh take training and if anyone's uh, anyone sponsor me then it, it's easy for me to take training and also to go for tournaments and uh, mm, if anyone support me then definitely i will win a uh, gold medal in olympics and i will na- i will bring good name and fame to our country you have a website uh, on your name right uh, they uh, are listeners aye, like aye. whoever is interested and who are, who whoever is interested to contact you they can go to your website and uh, uh, and they can uh, contact you from there right yeah 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 okay so how did you get the idea about the it's like who gave you the idea to launch a website and uh, advertise yourself like that uh actually this idea was given by sri hari sir sri hari atluri mhm uh yeah he's a uh, uh, founder sri hari sir given me idea about this website and it's uh, easy for me to get sponsorships and uh, if we do this radio uh, this another summer program and so many listener, listeners will listen to this uh uh listen to my voice and uh, they can approach me mm-hmm. that's nice that's yeah. nice so uh, can you can you share your website uh, address uh, with our listeners so that uh, If there is anyone who is uh, uh, who want to make contact with you or uh, uh, who want to uh, put a message to you they can do that through your website yeah sure it's uh, tejamartialarts.wordpress.com t e j a dot sorry t e j a m a r t i a l a r t s dot w o r d word p r e s s dot com wordpress dot com 
Okay. Thank you, Teja. Thank you for being on our show and thank you for sharing your experiences in uh, in the in your martial art training and uh, your life so far. And uh, thanks for your mom too uh, for being on our show and uh, tell, uh, telling uh, about you to all our listeners. And uh, we wish and I hope. Uh, you all the best, and I hope uh, I hope you get uh, the pro- uh, sponsors required for your future tournaments, and uh, you achieve whatever uh, what uh, your dreams uh, in future, and uh, you achieve your your. And I hope and I wish I, you bring a good name and fame uh, to our country in future uh, Olympics or uh, any kind of endeavor you take upon. Thank you once again, and uh, have a great day. Thank you so much. And I would like to thank to NRI Samai for giving me this opportunity. And I am very thankful to the, all the listeners of NRI Samai. I had a really good time with you all. Thank you. Okay. Okay, that's it, friends, for today. Uh, the, this is Vivek Teja's story about uh, his martial arts journey and uh, his future in future dreams and plans and aspirations. So anyone uh, of you who want to support him or sponsor him or uh, encourage him, you can go on to his WordPress uh, page. That is tejamartialarts.wordpress.com, T-E-J-A-M-A-R-T-I-A-L-A-R-T-S dot W-O-R-D-P-R-E-S-S dot com and uh, you can contact him there and uh, if you, uh, and if you want to listen to our NRSMA shows offline and uh, record the recorded shows you can subscribe to our ch- channel on the, uh, YouTube uh, NRSMA and uh, you can listen to all our, our past and uh, uh, current programs, uh, current uh, recordings, and uh, uh, you can also donate uh, for uh, any, any of any causes on our NRI Samai page. That is www.nrisamai.com. So that's it for today, and uh, thank you for listening. Have a great day. Have a great time. Bye-bye, and it is stay just winning. Friends, if you liked today's show, please go to youtube.com forward slash NRA Samay and click on the subscribe button. You will get notified every time we publish a new show. And you can also like us on our social media sites like Facebook, Twitter and Google+.